Hi, this is DJ Peter Morgan from the DJpodcast.com, and you're watching Wingsound.com. In this video, I'll be showing you how to manage your library in Serato Scratch Live. So the first thing that you want to do is import your files into Scratch Live. Now, there's two ways of doing this. The first is that you can go over to your Finder if you're on a Mac, and you can just drag a track into this area here, and you can see that it is highlighted in orange. That would be the first way of doing it. Also, you can click on the Files tab here and drill down to um, whatever file you want. So if you want to say here, and then just drag it down into your library. So that's how you get files into Serato. Now once you have them in here, what you can do is specify which of these sorting fields you want to display by clicking on this arrow to the right here. You can see the ones that are checked and the ones that are not checked, you can turn on or off. Then you can sort by, you know, year, comment, genre, or whatever you like. I personally like to sh sort by the date added to Serato, which is a great way of knowing which tracks are new and which ones, you know, you may not have played yet. Now, if you want to find a track really quickly, one good way is to do a search. So, for example, if I wanted to find a track, all the tracks by Paul Van Dyke, I can just do a quick search and anything mentioning Paul Van Dyke is there. Now if you want to refine your search, you can then say, you know, only search the file name or the song or the artist or whatnot. So that's one way of finding songs. Also, you can create a crate that is sort of like a playlist by hitting the plus button here and you'll see that there is now a new crate where you can just simply drag and drop all, any song that you want into the crate. And now you have a crate here that has the songs that you played. Good if you want to, you know, make a playlist of songs that you know will always get the crowd going or maybe something that you want to play near the end of the night. Alternatively, you can manage all of your music in iTunes. Make playlists, smart playlists, do whatever you want in iTunes if you use that. And you can import that library into Scratch Live. So by doing that, you click Setup up in here on the top. You go to Library, and then you check Read iTunes Library. You'll see then that it shows up on the left side here next to Crates. Once again, my name is DJ Peter Morgan, and I'm from the DJPodcast.com, and you're watching WinkSound.com.